All right, gang, welcome back. So I'm gonna quickly just uh, do a quick demonstration of how to use this here TS301 digital anemometer by Top Test here. Well, they sent this to me um, a few weeks ago, asked me to do a review, so I obliged. And um, let's compare it against the Testo 410i, just for a little bit of uh, fun here. As you can see, that Testo vein is crazy sensitive, I'm not going to lie, but it is a smaller vein, as you can see. So, and you're probably wondering, where is this airflow coming from? If you look above me, you got a supply register coming in, in this attic. It's a nice, very nice attic, fully encapsulated. You know, it's got the icing everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the top test. And, um... This top test only does velocities here, so you have to select your units. It doesn't calculate CFM for you, so I'm just going to stick with foot per minute. So feet per minute. Turn on my Testo 410. Go to the Testo app. As you see, we got temperatures and we've got velocity cool thing about this this actually does everything it's got temperature humidity and velocities well everything but CFM no biggie all right so you can see uh, with the top test it's going about 750 to 780 foot per minute and as you can see it, it kind of rolls over so once it got past 100 degree Fahrenheit mark you can see it's showing 0, 0 0.9 rather than 100.9. Temperature and humidity settings are pretty much right on par with my field piece uh, psychrometer. So, but yeah, I will be reaching out to top test in regards to the temperature uh, display if that's uh, factory or if there's an issue with the unit. So as you can see, I've got the Testo around the same spot, about 740 feet per minute. 788, if you want to get So the Testo was getting around 750 or so So it's just a general rundown of the features here So you've got the Celsius and Fahrenheit button here at the top Then you've got the unit buttons below that You can cycle through all the different units here So you've got uh, meters per second uh, kilometers per hour, uh, knots, miles an hour, feet per inch, feet per minute, and um, feet per second again. Also, you've got your uh, you got a backlight, got the min max average button. So you can cycle through that, so that'll just show you. It'll pretty much rec record the minimum, maximum uh, temperatures or velocities, and then the average across the um spectrum there so it's a pretty well featured unit uh sorry i had to redo the audio because that i didn't realize uh, the supply above me was putting out so much uh noise there so really contaminated my audio basically I, I like this top test so far it's a pretty good unit decent build quality i think for new tech it's pretty much a no-brainer for the features and the accuracy that this thing offers uh you should definitely pick it up if you're a new tech or if, even if you're a seasoned veteran that doesn't own an anemometer. I know plenty of guys that have been in the trade for decades and don't even know what an anemometer is. So it's definitely a decent tool and you know for checking just general velocities, airflow, general balancing. So yeah, check them out. You can get this on Amazon or check my affiliate link uh, below. And stay tuned for a chance to win this, this unit here. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.